guys, it's Ibrahim Muslim and today I'm back with another video on Hackintosh. So in this video, I will be explaining you how to fix the slow read write speeds of your hard drives if you are using soft read and RAID 5 or RAID 1 or RAID 2 using a soft read software available for Mac. So this issue particularly came on Mac OS Big Sur. I was very, very confused how to get rid of this issue and it took about one month to figure out what was causing it. So this issue appeared on macOS Big Sur and it was not this obvious on macOS Catalina or before. And also this fix will also improve your hard drive's read write speeds if you are using macOS Big Sur or any previous version. So let's first move to the screen and see how bad the speeds were. And then I will show you how to fix it and then we will see how uh, the speed gain we will get after the fix. So I will be showing everything on my system. I will change no hardware and just a simple patch just a simple fix and we will see the gain we get. So we are on our screen recording now. So let's move to the speed test and I will show you the speed test and what I'm getting right now. So we open the speed test also. Let me show you that I'm on the latest beta version of soft raid 6.0.1 B52. Okay. So we go here, we select the target disk and we select our last of us drive and we say open so look at this it's taking almost a minute to just even recognize or start the read write test and it's not even getting a good score so that's a 0 0.3 mb per second and that's 9.28 or 9 mb per second so that's a tremendously slow speed for a four drive 16 terabyte raid system and now you can see the performance loss is so huge if I close this test, you can see the whole black magic stuff got hanged. Okay, it looked, took like 30 seconds to just get out of this. So now if I select my main drive, look, the speed test is completely fine. There is nothing wrong with the speed test right now. But again, we can stop this. We can go back and give it a try to the last of us. So, so the last of us raid is so damn damn slow just because of a single, single patch the patch is like it will take less than a second to fix it but it wasted more than one one and a half month of mine to figure out how to fix this so the fix is basically hidden in the bios now you can see the speed is damn slow so let's close this and okay it got hanged again so let's close this and let me give you one more practical demonstration so it gets clear that it's not just a uh, speed test black magic the whole raid is damn slow okay this is a 7.9 gb file it's in my main hard drive ssd nvme and then i will move this to the my server or on my raid and look at this so it's estimating time remaining and look at the speeds if i open activity monitor you can also see the speeds in the disk section. It's 2.3 MB per second. Tremendously slow. Okay. Look at this. A 20 MB and a 12 MB write. Look at the performance. Okay. So now what we have to do is just close this. We will do a retest after the restart so we have restarted and now i'm in the bios you have to press f12 or delete key on your keyboard to go into the bios and now the fix is very very simple but it took very long to understand and to fix so you have to if you're on gigabyte motherboard you have to go to settings then in io ports and then in sata and rst configuration so you will find this on almost all motherboards even on asus asrock and msi and on gigabyte you have to go in sata and rst configuration in sata controllers you have to select sata mode selection as ahci and you have to select aggressive lmp support to disable this this thing the aggressive lmp support caused all that issue i was facing so only fixing this only disabling this it fixed my system and mac os big Sur support and performance so now I can show you if I just save and exit and I will let the system boot.
So we have just restarted the system and now let's see the speed test. And first we'll do a drive test. So you can see it's going good. Read write of the drives are pretty fast. Okay, now let's go to select target drive, last of us and look at this. So right from 0 0.3 MB, it went to like 400 to 420 MB. That's an increase of about 4,000 times. So it was getting somewhere close to like five, six, 10 MBs and which means it, it, it was like 50 times slower than the current speed and the read write speeds are absolutely fast now. Write speeds are going 440 and 450 and the read speeds are really fast as well. So I have also tested by transferring some of the zip files and the speed test and the speed I get is about uh, 550 MB on read write. So because of files being smaller, the speed may vary. So let's try this one first, the one we are previously trying. So we can replace that. Look at this, the speed is absolutely fast now. Before this test took about one minute to even start. And now look at the speed jumps we are getting. It's a really, really fast speed. The files are really, really small in this folder containing a couple of different files. Look at this, the read write speeds are definitely very, very high. So that was the fix and that is the performance we get once we get the fix done. So, so let's move back to the video. So guys, that's how you fix the super slow read write speeds of your Mac OS hard drives if you're using a Mac OS software, which is soft RAID to make the RAIDs. I'm using a RAID 5 configuration of four hard drives and now I'm happy with the speeds. So basically, it took me about one month or more to figure out the issue and finally it's fixed and I hope this video helped you out and it helped you solve your issue right away. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. And if you really enjoy the video, if you want other people to watch this video and get help as well. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. And if you want other people to watch this video and learn and fix their issues, please don't forget to share the video. And also if you enjoyed the video, uh, subscribing would be really, really great. I also have my Patreon channel and you can contact me there for any personal support related to Hackintosh, Windows or servers. So until the very next video, please take care. Allah Hafiz.